20 great quotes from Thomas A. Kempis. Number 1. A wise and good man will turn examples of all sorts to his own advantage. The good he will make his patterns, and strive to equal or excel them. The bad he will by all means avoid. Number 2. All men are frail, but thou shouldst reckon none so frail as thyself. Number 3. All the glory and beauty of Christ are manifested within, and there he delights to dwell, his visits there are frequent, his condescension amazing, his conversation sweet, his comforts refreshing, and the peace that he brings passeth all understanding. Number 4. And when he is out of sight, quickly also is he out of mind. Number 5. At the least bear patiently, if thou canst not joyfully. Number 6. Blessed is the pilgrim, who in every place, and at all times of this his banishment in the body, calling upon the holy name of Jesus, calleth to mind his native heavenly land, where his blessed master, the king of saints and angels, waiteth to receive him. Blessed is the pilgrim who seeketh not an abiding place unto himself in this world, but longeth to be dissolved, and be with Christ in heaven. 6. Number 7. Constantly choose rather to want less, than to have more. Number 8. Few spirits are made better by the pain and languor of sickness, as few great pilgrims become eminent saints. Number 9. For these attacks do not contribute to make us frail but rather show us to be what we are. Number 10. God deceiveth thee not. Number 11. God is able to do more than man can understand. Number 12. Happy is the man who renounces everything which may bring a stain or burden upon his conscience. Number 13. He is truly great that is great in charity. He is truly great that is little in himself and maketh no account, of any height of honor. And he is truly learned that doeth the will of God, and forsake his own will. Number 14. He is truly great that is little in himself, and that maketh no account of any height of honors. Number 15. He that avoideth not small faults, by little and little falleth into greater. Number 16. He who loves with purity considers not the gift of the lover, but the love of the giver. Number 17. If thou canst not make thyself such an one as thou wouldst, how canst thou expect to have another in all things to thy liking? Number 18. If thou desire to profit, read with humility, simplicity, and faithfulness, nor even desire the repute of learning. Number 19. If thou hadst simplicity and purity, thou wouldst be able to comprehend all things without error, and behold them without danger. The pure heart safely pervades not only heaven, but hell. Number 20. If thou wilt receive profit, read with humility, simplicity, and faith, and seek not at any time the fame of being learned, 